Hi everybody, so here we are with my canvas riggers bag from Harbor Freight. It's normally $14.99. I got it, it was on sale for $11.99. And I want to use it for a traveling journal bag. But it is very plain and I want to jazz it up with some paint. Now this is not my original idea. A bunch of artists and journalers on The Documented Life are doing the same thing with this bag. So I'm going to speed through this. I'm going to use fabric paints and because I have a drawer full of them like right there. Off, slightly off camera. Um, so we might as well try to use them up. So I am going to just, I don't have any particular thing in mind. I know I want to do brightly colored circles. That's really, that's all I know. We'll see where it goes from there and I'm going to speed through it and I'll be back. Okay, hi guys. So I, it is still totally wet, but I did this one side of my bag, cuteness, right? Then I did the ends. It's totally very wet. I'm gonna let it dry. I don't know if I'm gonna do any more painting to it. I kind of am liking the way it looks. I may, I don't know yet. So I'm going to let this dry and thoroughly and we will be back and we'll take a second look at it and see if we want to add anything else. All right, I'll be back. Oh my gosh, people, this bag project was so much fun. Thank you to the ladies on the Documented Life Project who gave me the idea. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I had so much fun with it. I may go back to Harbor Freight today and get a couple more bags and paint them for some friends. I think they'd make great gifts. It was just such a fun project. 
Now as you can see, um, after it was mostly dry yesterday, it wasn't completely dry, but it was mostly dry, I went back and added these white fabric paint dots. I did the whole thing with fabric paint. Let me zoom in a little bit for you guys. There you go. So I did the whole thing, the whole bag with fabric paint. And I went in and put little fabric paint dots and then just smudged them with my finger. And I did it in random places and that just gave it a nice little pop. I decorated both big sides. Let me go back out for you. There we go. Both big sides of the bag and also the short ends. And I love, love, love the way it turned out. It is great and it's a nice big bag that's going to just hold everything that I want it to. I'm going to put my travel art journal stuff in here. It's just great. I like the bag that my travel art journal stuff is in, but I think I like this one better. <laughs> so see what you can do about making your own bag. If you don't, don't have a Harbor Freight tools and hardware supply store near you, Go to your hardware store, home improvement store that you do have. This is a can called a canvas riggers bag. It's basically a plain canvas tool bag. So go into the hardware store and see what kind of fabric tool bags they have and if they have one that's like this. I do know Harbor Freight. You can order stuff from their website online. I don't know what the shipping is like. I'll try to remember to include a, include a link in the description below for their website and also a link for the Art of the Fifth website where you can find out more about the Documented Life and their other classes. And um, yeah, I am going to fill my bag up and have some fun with it. Have a great day. Have a great week. Don't forget to go out and do something nice for yourself. You deserve it. And I'll see you later. Bye.